Hello and welcome to another Entsvena episode everyone! After our detour to Beatles last time, let us return to our main subject, Ants. Today I am going to share with you what I know about Lazios Flavos. As always, feel free to leave me your feedback in the comments, be it something I forgot or just have your say. Lazius Flavus, also named the Yellow Meadow Ant, is well known as a sister species to Lazius Niger, which every ant keeper should have heard of. But make no mistake, Lazius Flavus differs in many ways from Lazius Niger, which makes them interesting in their own distinct way. Let's start with the obvious differences. The yellow meadow ants are slightly smaller. While the queen is about 7 to 9 mm, the workers only get 2 to 4 mm long. The queen is mainly black with yellow legs and underside of the abdomen. Workers are completely monochrome and can range from bright yellow to dark orange. Lazius flavus also are considerably slower than the black field ants. Wild Lazius flavus colonies live most of their lives underground, where there are less predators to hunt them, and get their nutrition from aphids, living on plant roots. The fact that they are relatively slow and, as their name says, yellow in color, makes them very pleasing to watch, at least in my eyes. Speaking of eyes, their eyesight is warped. Since underground it is pitch black, they have developed an extraordinary sense of smell. My colonies easily smell honey water from three times the distance that Lazius Niger do. Now to the differences the eye cannot see. While both Lazius Flavus and Lazius Niger are close to our species, meaning they need no food until they have developed their first set of workers, also known as nanetics. Lazius flavus actually can be polygynous. What that means is that multiple queens can be put together and found a colony while also staying together afterwards. Though most of the time when colonies get bigger, each queen wants her own space in the nest. If they come too close to each other, there might be fights between them. I myself have tried raising up to three to four queens in a single test tube, but in both cases there were casualties. Two queens seem to get along well though. In regard to population size, Lazius Flavus definitely have the upper hand, while Lazius Niger colonies always have only one queen and can reach a population of 40,000 individuals. A single Lazius Flavus queen can have up to 100,000 daughters. Not to mention that there can be multiple queens in a single nest, as stated before. Besides their differences, the two species have a few things in common. They are both easy to care for, and that's true for two reasons. First, they aren't picky in terms of nutrition. They love honey water, sugar water, ham, mealworms and other insects. Second. They accept almost any form of nest, 
be it directly in the earth, under a stone, udong, acrylic, or plaster nests. This makes them quite flexible and beginner friendly. Since the two species often share the same habitat, they live in the same regions and therefore both have a hibernation phase. Hibernation period for Lasius niger and Lasius flavus extends from the end of October to the end of March. During this period you have to keep them at approximately 8 degrees Celsius. For you, as an ant keeper, this means you get a break from your hobby for a few months, which is not a bad thing per se. Okay, this was a long talk from my point of view. Let me know what you think of Lasius Flavus. Next time we speak about them, they will probably be enjoying the new formicarium I made. As always, leave me a thumbs up if you liked the video, or don't if you didn't. And don't forget to subscribe, since your support not only helps me with the YouTube algorithm, but also motivates me to make more ant content for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!